Welcome to Beginning Sewing Level 3. I'm Janet Korzat, and in this segment we're going to be making two-piece pajamas. So you'll be learning lots of new skills on that project, as well as adding some samples to your notebook. Be sure you check your grain lines as you're putting each piece onto the fabric. Check that everything fits perfectly before you make a single cut. And once you get everything on and on grain, you can cut out, and then we're ready to transfer markings. Many of these markings are the same as we've done on other projects, but just for reminder, we'll go through them. On the pocket, we're going to do a tiny snip at the hemline on each side. And now we come to the front. This one also has a couple of new markings. We want to do a snip for the center front at the top and at the bottom, <clears throat> and also for this fold line at the top as well as at the bottom. Now we have our pocket to mark, and we'll do that in the same way that we did on the robe by putting a pin through each of the matching points where the finished pocket will go. This time there are five because it's a pointed pocket. So I'll just put the pins through. Now we want the pocket on the left front, so we only need to mark one of them. And this underneath one happens to be the left front. If you have trouble determining which is the left, hold it up to you and see which one it is. I'm just going to make a tiny little mark where the pin goes into the fabric. Then I can peel back for the second set of pins. Our next sample will be one of the blind hem. It's a machine blind hem. It looks like this on the inside of the garment. On the outside, the stitching doesn't show very much at all, especially if you have matching thread. My casing is sewn now, so we're ready to insert the elastic. You'll want to measure the elastic around your waist so that it's a comfortable fit with just a little bit of overlap so that uh, we can use that when we sew the elastic into a circle. You want it snug but comfortable. Now I'm going to insert that into the casing and start feeding the elastic through. As I get more of the elastic into the casing, I will pin this end onto the seam allowance so that it won't get pulled into the casing and get lost. And now we're ready to prepare our interfacing. We're working with Palmer Plush Perfect Fuse Shear today, and this is a very wide interfacing, so you get quite a bit in your package. It has stretch in one direction, and it's stable in the other. We're going to make that stableness work for us, so we want that in the direction of our buttonholes. I'm going to be following the pattern guide, and our first job is to put on the interfacing that we cut earlier. I'm working on this really nice, big, padded surface, and you can find out how to make one of these for your sewing room in this book called Dream Sewing Spaces. It'll give you complete instructions, and it's very handy to have a board that's large like this for doing big pressing jobs. You can make it in any size that works for you. We'll start with our piece of the front with the wrong side up, and I have pressed this so that all the wrinkles are out. Then I placed my interfacing with the bumpy side or the glue side down against the fabric, and I aligned the edge of the interfacing with the two little snips that we made when we were transferring our markings. Those snips indicate this line, which is the fold line, and your pattern says interface to here. After positioning the interfacing, I'm going to put my pattern piece back on and make sure that the interfacing lines up with that line. I'll carefully remove the tissue and then I can put my press cloth on and I can press. Just grab my iron here, all heated and ready. And we're going to press with a press and lift motion, just overlapping each position so that we have a total of about 10 to 12 seconds in each place. I'll continue until this is well attached and then we'll be ready to sew again. Well, our project is completed and you've really learned a lot of new sewing skills. You've learned about collars, buttons and buttonholes, a new shape of pocket, You've also done 
an elastic waistband, and learned a little bit about fitting. I've introduced you to a couple of new sewing tools, and you've added lots of samples to your notebook. We've also learned a little bit more about interfacing. With all of these new skills, you should easily be able to make yourself another camp shirt and pull on pants or lots more pajamas. I hope you'll enjoy sewing. Thank you.